We've got it. The Coliseum. Let's go. We can be there before dawn. Wait, there was something about that door. I don't think I saw a handle. Let me run an analysis. Great. So we need some kind of futuristic key. It seems to open with a verbally triggered mechanism. I I've never seen anything like it. You mean it needs a password? Try humming Beethoven's fifth. Damn European power grid. Now we can't scan Ezio's memories to find the password. We have to find that password. Ezio knows the answer. Problem is, he's dead. I can't believe we're stuck here. How long until Ezio's ghost shows up through the bleeding effect and leads me to the answer? I bet 30 seconds. 30 seconds. No? Okay, well. Doesn't look like he's actually going to be appearing. Hmm, that's quite odd. Or will he? There he is. No? There. Hmm. Where is Etsy's ghost? You gotta lead me to the password, mate. Is that it? Hey, maybe it has something to do with this. Symbol matches the one on the door to the vault. 1419, 1420, 1421. What if they aren't dates? 1419, 1420. Oh my god. What? God! Tell us already! I am, I am, I am! The Tetragrammaton, the 72 names of God. You see? They're all contained within three verses, Exodus 19 through 21. And get this, you'll like this. If you arrange the four Hebrew letters in God's name within an equilateral triangle, their numerical values add up to the same number. 72. Are you absolutely sure about this? That's kind of why I'm saying it out loud, Rebecca, yeah, but I haven't got the kicker yet. Construction on the Colosseum began in the year 72. I think we have our password. Sean, go get the van. God, Sean is bloody brilliant. That's kind of why I'm saying out loud, yeah. <laughs> oh, adorable. Now, we've barely seen any of the uh, modern day people. Deja vu. I bet. Let's go. Whoa, 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 what about us, eh? You might actually need a historian down there. Sean's right, that tunnel should lead under Capitoline Hill. I'll help them find another entrance. Be careful, Desmond. I'll drive. Ah, yeah, nice try. I've seen your car. Uh, so ends the adventure of Raiden Auditore. It was quite fun while it lasted, instead now we're back to Desmond Miles. Uh, he's Lucy, a bartender. I'm my way toward the entrance. Okay, good. If you see any gladiators, my advice would be leg it. I'll keep that in mind. Ooh, hello. Yeah, it just seems a bit... You can't help but be disappointed when you go from cyborg breakdancing ninja to barkeep. I don't know. Maybe I'm disrespecting all barkeeps of the world, but I just feel like they can't compare to a cyborg breaking breakdancing ninja. I can't believe I'm actually gonna hold the apple. It's been a long time coming. You've earned it. I wonder if it'll change things. Whether it can tip the scales in our favor. I'm sure it will. It has to. Here's hoping, mate. Can I do the climb leap thing without the climb leap glove, or no? What do you think we'll find? Hopefully a map to the temple. The apple's just gonna give it to us, is it? Yeah? Who's that Elvis over there? Hey, maybe this time we'll be lucky. Well, there's a first time for everything, I suppose. Oh, 
Wait, actually, was I supposed to go all the way up there? Actually, I think so. Let me go back up there. Oh, I guess now would be a nice time to try the uh, climb leaf glove. Oh, okay. Actually, I don't think, yeah, I, I don't think I can do the climb leap thing. Oh, that's a bummer. I actually kind of like that move. Why don't they just give it to me? Just, I don't want to get a stupid glove for it. There's so much construction. This place is like a maze. I like the GM house, the cages of the gladiators, and, and the machine which raised them to the surface. The whole area you're in right now was originally covered by the arena. Good to know. I do like the fact that there aren't any tutorials or anything like this during this section. No more information telling me how to back eject or side eject or any eject. Today's date is October 10th. So? Guess how many days there are until the Templar satellite launch. I have a feeling I know the answer. 72. Why is today so important? We're just picking up the apple and leaving. It's the door code. Someone wants to make sure we get it right. I didn't even look before I leave. That was dangerous. Okay, I'm back on familiar ground. Commit to this space the epilogue of our ending. Let it be found by he who is deemed worthy. Let it guide him. Let it shape his path forward. Let it save the world we leave behind. Who are you? What's going on, Desmond? Nothing. You're a terrible lie, Desmond. I suppose I should use Eagle Vision just to make sure if there's anything around here. Nope. Okay, up I go. What's around here? Nothing much. Okay, do I have to... Mm. Oh wow, I didn't even need to do anything. Okay, that's convenient. In the beginning, we set our truths to parchment, to stone, to the memory of men. These proved impermanent things. Cleansed by fire. Cleansed by famine. Cleansed by flood. All the world is innocent once more. Innocent and ignorant. Is that the assassin symbol on her, like, torso? Oh, might be mistaken, but it looks sort of similar. <laughs> You know, I really do like the uh, the Assassin's logo. It's a very nice little sort of symbol that they've got going on. Whoever does the art direction for this game, or for the Assassin's Creed series in general, they need a promotion. And if they've already received one, they need another one. to get up there. Oh, these are climbable. Oh, it didn't even look like those were climbable. Huh. Ooh, wow, that back eject was incredibly lucky. Yeah, I can't do the climb leap thing. That's annoying. I'm coming. you long enough. What is this place? Santa Maria and Aquelli. See those columns along the aisles? They're lifted from Roman ruins. Now supposedly this church was built on top of the ancient temple of Juno. I 
like the ceiling. Do you? you like the ceiling? Oh, you are a fascinating traveling companion. I think he likes her. These two right here. I ship them so hard. Hey, there's something glowing. There's something up there. I just said that. Whoa, there's Ezio's oh, ghost. We'll, we'll just stay down here then, shall we? Just pray or something. You're welcome to join me if you want. I ain't fussy. It feels a bit weird that, you know, that, like, the whole way that the UI is set up in the Assassin's Creed games is that it's based around the fact that you're in a machine. Then when you turn into Desmond and they minimize that, yet they still have the gigantic press any button prompt, it's, and it's still in the same style, it's just like, that's weird. I don't, I don't we understand that. To be wise. And now they are our final vaulted hope. You are they. You possess the potential for understanding, but you broke our tools or turned them against one another. We have destroyed what we could, sealed away what we could not. Something's open. Most, not all, and it does not take many to unwind the world. Here is a safe place. Eternal, to store objects, words, wisdom, but not life. Almost did we have the means, but time, time erodes us. We can distract him, we can see past him, faint left when he strikes right, but his reach is so very long, his stamina unending. We cannot evade his grasp. There goes. Not forever. Hello. Wasn't in the blueprints. I sure am glad none of you were like standing on top of that. Cause that could have ended really poorly. Jesus. Whatever this is, it doesn't do anything. It's a dead end. I'm not so sure. What's going on? <laughs> if you, if you want to kill us, mate, you're going to have to try a little harder than that. We're here. Now for that password. If Sean's right, that is. I'm always right. About that dead end. That never happened. I was misquoted. <laughs> uh, classic Sean. Gotta love him or hate him. He's love. You love to hate him. Do you think it speaks English? Just say it. Okay. Seventy-two. Man, that's some very good voice recognition software. That's like better than Connect or like you know Siri. Then again, you are American, so it is always based around your accent. Whenever an Australian tries to say 72, we'd be like, please oh, repeat the, sa the saying. And you'd say, like, 72, boy. And then it'd be like, activating defenses, killing you now. And you're like, no, I was the chosen one. And then you're obliterated. The apple seems to be in the center. Time to find out where those temples are. 
Time to have some fun. Ooh, a platforming challenge. If you hit all of them, you might get some power to the central platform. Or you might cause this room to turn into an alien spaceship. A hundred years I might speak and still you would not know us. You with five senses, us with six. The one we kept from you, to be safe. Now you can never know, only try, grasp. You can see, smell, taste, touch, hear. Knowledge has been locked away. Wait, I thought the sixth sense wasn't knowledge, but like the power to communicate with the dead. After, when the world became undone, we tried to pass it through the blood, tried to join you to us. You see the blue shimmer, you hear the words, but you do not know. Well, what'd I do? sure what I just did there. I don't feel like that was the right thing. Is the lady gonna say anything more or is she done? Just sort of standing over there creeping me out. It's kind of distracting to be honest and that's my excuse for why I messed up that platforming section. Uh, guess I just gotta swing across. Maybe I was too slow or something? Oh, that was bad. Okay, so where's this power thing? It's right there. This music sounds sort of like... I don't know, it sounds very Tron Evolution-y. Huh. But a much more subdued version of Tron Evolution. I'm gonna give this another shot. I guess I pressed the wrong one. Dang, I need to get angry, lady. Oop, there you are. Just a little bit. Further up, and we are nearly there. It is hard to stay contained, knowing as we do. We wait for you, Desmond. You will come here. You will activate it. You will know only too late. Did you hear any of that? Any of what? Right, okay, so that's how you're supposed to do it. Now, on to the final section. So where are the temples? You want me to ask it? Or think it or something. You sure you asked it the right thing? I know this, I know that symbol. That, that's a Phrygian cap. It stands for freedom, and that, that's a Masonic eye. Now those two come together in only one place. What's happening? I, I can't move. Your DNA communes with the apple. You have activated it. Uh, let me go! On the 72nd day before the moment of awakening, you, birth from our loins and the loins of our enemies, the end and the beginning, who we abhor and honor, the final journey commences. There is one who would accompany you through the gate. She lies not within our sight. The cross darkens the horizon. What are you doing? The path must be opened. You cannot escape your part in this. The scales shall be balanced.
god. I'm actually having to walk forward. No. Can I not walk back? Stop! Please! You know very little. We must guide you. God damn it, no! I just have struggle. to walk forward. Oh, I want to walk back. Stop getting close to Lucy, please. No. Gonna have to stab her. It is done. The way lies all before you. Only she remains to be found. Awaken the sixth. Go alone. Fuck. Well, that's the end of Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. God damn. That was a game. So, um... Yeah. We killed Lucy. And now I'm gonna do a minor spoiler, but like... The reasoning why they give you in the later games for why you had to kill Lucy... I think is total fucking bullshit. I would just rather have her alive, to be honest. I just, god damn, not having Lucy, <sighs> fuck, well that's the end of that, thanks for sticking around everyone, I hope you enjoyed my let's play of Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, and um, yeah, probably get around to Revelations or another Assassin's Creed game eventually. Shit. he's gone into shock, put him back in the machine, it's the only way to fix this, but the Animus did this to him, am I the expert or not? Do it. No. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. Um, because the next game in the Assassin's Creed series is Revelations, but in terms of the overall storyline for Revelations, there's really not that much that happens in it, like for the modern day stuff. It's basically just explaining the end of Ezio and Altair's story and closing their chapters, which is nice. But it's not necessarily all that productive, I guess. They don't really add anything to the formula. It's not very different. The worlds aren't all that interesting. Like, I'm not as big a fan of, um... Frick, where, wherever the hell... Wherever the heck, um, Revelations takes place, I forget. Um, yeah, but I prefer Roma or, um... You know, the Assassin's Creed 2 area. You know, those sorts of areas I prefer and uh, the non, um, the, the Desmond Miles sections are basically just uh, you in this animus section where you're trying to like wake up because you know you've gone into shock as they just said so the story doesn't really go anywhere and I think it might be best if we just skip to Assassin's Creed 3 and then do Assassin's Creed Liberation and then do Assassin's Creed 4 I think that would be more productive because Revelations is just sort of a, a stop. It's just sort of... It's a nice sort of little expansion on storylines. It doesn't add anything. That's it. Anyway, um... Yep, I'm gonna call it there. So thank you for sticking around everyone. Hope you enjoyed it and...